Welcome back everyone. Now that we've seen how to uh, wire um, the ACM12 um, and uh, connect the strike, uh, let's see how to program them. Um, first, I'm going to go, I'm going to add uh, a demo account. Okay, for panel type, I'm going to put EVO 192 just to save time because it takes uh, extra time for the software to detect it and it may not uh, be able to detect it on time. I'm going to put my panel ID and password. Okay, click connect. Oops, I forgot uh, to specify the connection type. So I'm connecting using serial and this is my COM port. So I select COM port, uh, COM8. Uh, for your, for your uh, connection, it might be different. So I click OK and then connect. Takes a few seconds. And we're connected to the panel. So a few extra seconds to uh, um, to download any any available programming on the panel. My panel uh, has been factory reset, so there's no programming whatsoever. Um, while the panel is downloading, I'd like to note that you don't really need um, a keypad, like you don't need a K641 to program an ACM. Uh, the panel should detect it automatically. Um, <clears throat> only if you have problems, then you can add the K641. But the problem is, if you add it, you will never be able to delete it. Or at least I don't know how to get rid of it. Um, so you just uh, wire the, uh, the ACM and give it some time and it should appear. If it doesn't, click disconnect and connect again and you should see it. Um, a note here, you see I'm using um, uh, firmware 7.3 and for the ACM I'm using 4.75. For years my favorite ACM firmware was 4.21 because I have it for all my clients and uh, we don't have any, um, we haven't had any issues with it but for the, the latest uh, firmware for the Evo uh, I think you absolutely have the f uh, you need the 4.75 so just keep that in mind so based on the based on the uh, firmware of, uh, of the ACM that you have uh, your prog programming might, might slightly be different uh, especially if you're using uh, anything below 4.21 uh, the programming is a little bit different um, now let's see how to program a simple access control system. So we have, we're going to have one door and that's it, nothing else. So you can, um, uh, I have, um, I'm using an R915. So I could be uh, using my fob or I could, I could be punching in um, a code. So we're going to see how to program that. Uh, you see here your, um, your software is divided into sections, so control panel, access module, security, and then you have here down here you have doors, but under doors there's no there's nothing there's nothing listed, um, and also under zones because I ha I don't have any zones uh, programmed, so I'm going to right click on doors, and then I click add door. Now I have created a door, but that door you see the serial number is not. The, it says not uh, not applicable and not available, <clears throat> so it's not connected to any um, ACM. So now I have to link that door. I, I could let's say I, I could add another door if I wanted if I had more than one door. But as you as I mentioned, uh, the the ACM twelve is a one door controller. So for each um, uh, each uh, door you need one ACM. So I right click. And I say properties, or I could also uh, double click. <coughs> I could double, double click on the door. So it opens this menu here. I go to the doors tab, and here you see serial number. That serial number should be the serial number of the ACM. So I'm going to click on, the, on that number here, and I select um, 
uh, what the door is connected to. So of course the door cannot be connected to a key, to a, a, a keypad. Uh, you have to select um, an ACM. If you have another door and another ACM, you, you would do the same. You would click here and then you would select the ACM for that door. So now I click OK and I send. So you see here it still now now it shows it shows the um, the serial number of the ACM so they should match. Okay, I could have also labeled the door. So instead of uh, saying door one, I will type front door. Okay, and then I click OK, and my door here uh, should say uh, front door. It says here front door. Now let's program, uh, let me swipe my fob, so I have my R915 here and this is my fob, so I, I swipe my fob, okay, it says access granted to user. Now this is my R915, uh, so let's see. Um, uh, in, in my user here, I have code one, two, three, four is programmed. So let's see if that code uh, is will work on the keypad, on the on the uh, reader. So I put one, two, three, four, and I get nothing. So the reason is, um, I have to go on the on the uh, on the ACM. Right click and then properties, and then you see here card and pin option it's set to card only this means you can only swipe a fob you cannot go get in using um, numbers so i'm going to change it to card or pin so this means i could use um, my fob or i could use my pin number uh, personally if i have it set to card or pin i prefer to use uh, six digit codes uh, but it's up to you most people use uh, just use four so now let's go back here and let's see if my one, two, three, four will work. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I got access granted. If you see here, um, it, sh it says the uh, access card is valid. <coughs> so um, going back to the uh, ACM, uh, sorry, in the, um, the door options, I like here under under general. I like to have this access enabled because sometimes when when you don't have for older versions for uh, previous uh, versions of the ACM firmware, if you don't have this option enabled, uh, your access will not work. Okay. So also for users, um, you see here there's an access control tab. If that user, uh, of course, I'm I'm using. Let's let's add another uh, a new user. So let's put user two. I'm going to assign code uh, five 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 five. Okay, but here they have access to area one. Um, for access control, they have all doors and always. For here, I'm going to uncheck uh, access control. Okay and then send the programming okay let's go back to my camera okay and then try 5555 five, five, five. okay so now uh, access is denied on door so if i go back to user and i will enable access control for user 2 this means that this user and the, and send the programming this means that this user uh, can use their code for access control. So five 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 five. You see, the uh, the the door unlocked. I am not sure if you can hear the click on the relay, but it does it does click, and you see the green light. the The light turns green, so we know that it works. Uh, if you look at those icons here, you see uh, that red lock icon. Uh, if you have hover over it, or if you click on it, click here, you see it says um, the door is closed and the door is locked. So that's the normal situation. 
uh, if you click on the drop down menu you see unlock door uh, now that it shows in the down here that the door is unlocked by PC software uh, it should remain unlocked until you lock it back uh, if you choose unlock door default time that will unlock it for 5 seconds or 10 seconds or however you have it defined in the uh, in the software in the configuration uh, and then finally you have here disable door if you have any issues with that door or you don't want anybody to use it you can disable it from from here of course uh, the uh, the end user does not have access to babyware or they shouldn't have uh, but they have similar options in the anywhere software uh, if you have if they have purchased it um, if you remember from my previous video I have said that you can you should wire um, a door contact or if you don't want to wire it at least you should jumper it out and I showed you how to use to do that um, so now I, at, at the moment I have the door contact um, closed if I remove it if I remove my hand from the door contact you will see um, the icon here now it says the door is opened and it's a door open door, door forced open alarm but it's, it shows the door is locked if I press it again it takes a few seconds and the door status should go back to normal uh, yeah now it goes to gray so that's why I, I like to have a door contact wired but in some cases like there is there are costs involved because you have to run wire for the door contact and um, if you don't want to do that you should simply jumper it at the panel uh, to, uh, there you have it a simple access control system um, you program a door you program the user and the user has access to all doors or in the next few episodes we're going to uh, I can show you how to uh, program access schedules and unlock schedules and all that if you have any uh, specific questions if i can answer them um, i'll be more than happy to uh, uh, answer you or maybe even create a video if the topic is interesting uh, thank you and see you in the next uh, one